Welcome back. Last time we were with uh, place marks. Let's take a look at those place marks. So I'm going to double click on my house that I created with the last video. It's going to zoom into the snapshot. All right, so here's my place mark, that orange house that says my house. All right, a couple things I don't like is that the icon and the label to the icon are so big, I can't see the imagery underneath. So let's do some things to mitigate that. Here's your second rule of Google Earth. When you want to edit anything in Google Earth, you right click and go to properties on it. Second rule of Google Earth, right click, properties. So I wanna edit my house. So right click, properties. And I'm back to the edit mode with this properties box. So some things I could do with it. For one here in the description box, I've lived here since September 2010 to present. So I'm gonna put that in the description box. Next I'm gonna go to the style and color tab. And I'm gonna make the label scale a little bit smaller. You can see that, got smaller. And the icon scale, a little bit smaller. And click OK. Now, make both those a little bit smaller, but still covering too much of the imagery. So I'm gonna change the angle. We covered this in basic navigation. All right, now I'm gonna go back to right-click properties to edit this again. Now what I'm gonna do is come to the altitude tab. I'm gonna change clamp to ground to relative to ground, and I'm gonna move this place mark off the ground maybe 40, 50 meters or so. And now you can see that place mark is hovering above the ground that high. But at this view, that could be misleading. My house is this house, but at this view, it looks like it could be one of these houses. That's why I'm gonna give a check mark to extend to ground. And that will draw a line down to the point in the ground I'm talking about. This is how I like to offset icons. If I want minimal obstruction, the Google Earth imagery underneath, I'll change the angle, raise the place mark off the ground, yet still point to it. Now I have a, another option back here at style and color. I can now change that line that we just created. Maybe I wanna make that orange as well to make it uniform with the rest of the place mark. Now what I like to do from here is reset the snapshot. So when I right click, snapshot view, I just gave that a new snapshot. So check it out, I can go from the United States to Virginia, to Northern Virginia, and now to my house with that re unique view that we set. Let's see that one more time with the Meadowland Elementary School place mark. So here's the elementary school. Once again, the place mark and the label are too big. So I'm gonna change the angle Something like this. And now, very important, right click, properties. Style and color, make both of those a little bit smaller with the scale. Go to altitude, relative to ground. Raise the place mark off the ground, yet still point to it. Maybe adjust the color of that line as well. and then reset the snapshot. So I can go from my house to my daughter's elementary school, just like that. Now let's go back to my house. Remember I wrote down the 2010 September to present. You see this blue hyperlink right here? When I click on that, that will bring up a balloon, and now you can see September 2010 to present. Whatever you write in the description box will come into these, what's called a balloon. 
So I challenge you guys, add some folders, United States, your, your state, your city, and then add place marks to the places that are important into your life, your house, your school, where you go to the gym, what grocery store you use. Practice putting place marks on important locations in your life. Map your world. See you next time.